I have attended uh, two big um, Be Well Collective events. One was at W, um, pre-Fashion Week, I think about a year ago, which was amazing. Um, and it was a, kind of the first time I had experienced any support aside from, you know, friends and family in the industry. I'd never, I'd never experienced or, f or heard about anything that was available to models or to, you know, people in the industry um, before the Be Well Collective. Then I also went to last Fashion Week, uh, the Beaver Collective put one on at Claridge's, which was incredible. And they had a panel of amazing experts. I'd never learned how important sleep was. She spoke about the importance of a restful night's sleep and a good night's sleep. And I've always been one that's panicked so much about the amount of hours I'm getting, and I have to get eight hours and wake up in the night, you know, trying to figure out how many hours of sleep I'll have until I go back, you know, until I have to wake up. And so during Fashion Week, when you're doing all the shows and you're running around castings and everything, you are on your feet all day. I remember my first season, there was one day where I walked 21 kilometers, <laughs> and that was just running around castings. Um, and I was lucky because I booked an amazing show the next morning after that first day. And I think I got home at about 10 o'clock at night, and I was so nervous for my first big show that I did not sleep a wink. I didn't know how to get myself to sleep. I couldn't calm down the adrenaline in my body. My body was knackered from all the walking around and running around castings and you know all the sort of everything, stress that comes with all of that. I just lay there awake the whole night trying to get some sleep and I just couldn't. And so hearing that expert speak at the Claridge's about the Be Well Collective, at the Be Well Collective event um, was incredible because she gave us the you know, tips of how to get a restful night's sleep, to, to do a kind of body scan, which is a lot of sort of mindfulness, which I've really thoroughly enjoyed um, recently. Um, and alongside that as well, meditation, which has been something that's helped me so much in my life, especially in the last couple of months. So we were learning breathing skills, and I'm desperate to actually go and do the meditation course from the woman, the woman that spoke. Um, I just haven't found the time yet, but I will. There was also an amazing guy who has a workshop gym and he was explaining, you know, how your body needs fuel to be able to work out more effectively. And I think for me, during times when I've been really, really conscious of losing weight and, and really caning it at the gym, I've thought, okay, if I don't eat and I go to the gym, that will make loads of sense, but it doesn't. You need to fuel your body. Your body needs its fuel to be able to you know, work out and to be able to run around all these castings, you have to put good stuff in your body. And I kind of was living off cigarettes and duck, <laughs> which wasn't very good. And so since then, you know, I've really realized that when I do work out before, you know, for breakfast, I'll have a big breakfast because I know that that means I'll burn more calories. And also what um, Sarah's talking about, about the balance that you need in your diet um, I think it's so easy to just sort of think, well, I'll just only eat vegetables and then that will be really good. I'll get really skinny. But it's all about balance and a varied diet and, and things in moderation. Um, I think it's quite refreshing as well to hear someone in the industry speak about food in a really passionate way, as I normally do, because I absolutely love, love a burger, love a pizza. And it was lovely to hear Sarah, who's you know obviously an amazing nutritionist and is doing all the stuff with the BOR Collective and has been a model for 15 years, say, you know, it's okay to have a burger if you want to have a burger. Just, you know, eat well for the rest of the week and just be more conscious of what you're putting in your body. You know, because obviously there's so much sugar and fat and everything in, in all these drinks that we drink and, and the food that we eat, especially on the go, you know, if you're running around shows and castings. It's so easy to just grab a sandwich or to just grab something and it's actually full, full with sugar. So after Sarah had spoken to us about that, for that fashion week I actually made all my meals like the night before and I would have a little tote bag with my agency book and my heels in and my lunch for that day. So I knew that what I was eating was giving me the right energy, the right fats, the right protein and then I was able to then you know, be at my best. <laughs>